Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Um, we are going to investigate micro bit. So if you were a third grader headed to fourth grade next year in the fall, you have experienced some micro bit work. Um, we hope to have micro bits for our classroom next year so that lots of grade levels can be experimenting and experiencing micro bits. So if you are in this lesson today, I want you to check out the tutorials. There are seven tutorials here, and this link is in Google Classroom, and it does not require a login or anything like that. So the seven different tutorials walk you through different functions within the drag and drop code. You'll notice there are other things to explore here. Feel free to really dive in if you want. Um, there are live coding sessions um, that are new. When, um, when quarantine started and the stay-at-home order was put in place, I believe they started these live sessions. So you can watch those. Feel free to scroll and investigate, watch the videos, um, and check out the coding cards. We will use a lot of this next year, but if you're here and you wanna hop into these tutorials, go ahead. Flashing Heart is the very first tutorial. It's very basic show you how the tutorials work and how they teach you. So you can watch the video. I highly recommend it. Um, this here is going to show you exactly what you need to do and you can watch it as many times as you like. Once this closes, you can open it up and see exactly what you're supposed to do, which is what I love about this because you don't have to know exactly what these words say. You just click here and it's going to show you what to do. So it was telling me to drag a show out of basic and go ahead and create my heart pattern. Now, um, you can really not worry about what your heart pattern looks like here. Um, I'm going to go fast through this little video because I want you to have time oops, to explore and create. There's my heart. Now, if I want this heart to flash, See right now, just all of the red LEDs are on. If I want it to flash, you'll notice in here, it told me to drag this, draw my heart, and then it's going to, if you wait long enough, <clears throat> um, oh, not in this one. We're just drawing a heart. Now we're going to place another one and leave it blank. Sorry, I did not advance to the third now watch our simulator, right? That's our digital micro bit. And now my heart is flashing. Make sure you click next to get the thing. When you look at the virtual micro bit, you should see the heart and drawing blink. And then you would be ready if we were in class to download it to our physical micro bit. It's really tiny, it's about this big, um, but we can utilize the micro bits for all different things. Once you've clicked finish, it's going to try and take you to this project. You don't necessarily want to stay in the project because you haven't finished the tutorials. So I would recommend you just click the home button and come back to micro tag smiley button. You'll notice if you're in a tutorial, if you click exit tutorial, it will actually take you back to all of the tutorials that um, you are trying. Dive in, try those seven tutorials, um, and then if you like, if you want to continue exploring, keep going, keep diving in, because we're going to do different maker challenges next year that use the micro bit. Um, so hopefully you'll have a little fun with those tutorials. Remember, there is no login. You don't have to worry about signing in with Google or anything like that. That's why I love starting um, with micro bit um, because it's a very simple, easy to use. You can do this on any device. You do not have to be on a Chromebook. Um, you can follow that link and do it on tablet as well. Have fun with this one. I hope to see you guys next year ready and excited for some super awesome computer science and coding. See you later.